Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to continue answering your questions and today we're talking about cuboid fractures. Hi guys, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident for ankle specialist and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so before we talk about cuboid fractures, let's talk about the cuboid in general. So the cuboid is a tarsal bone located in the lateral column of the foot. The lateral column of the foot is made up of the fourth and fifth metatarsals the cuboid and the calcaneus. So the cuboid articulates with the fourth and fifth metatarsal and it provides mobility up to three times greater than the first through third TMT joints. It is also the largest contributor to the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the midfoot. It is also the main supinatory element of the lateral column and helps maintain the length of the lateral column. I feel like that was a lot of medical terminology and just to put it in layman's terms, basically the cuboid helps to maintain the length of your foot, like how long your foot is. It also allows for mobility in the middle of your foot or range of motion in the middle of your foot, which is really important when you're walking. Now a cuboid fracture typically does not occur alone. It usually occurs as a compression type of force caused by something like a car accident where the cuboid gets crushed between the fourth and fifth metatarsals and the calcaneus. So it basically gets crushed, crushed like that. And that is also typically called a nutcracker fracture. So one of the main problems to consider with a cuboid fracture is the shortening of the lateral column because the length of this is very important in your function of your foot. So how do you treat a cuboid fracture? If your fracture is non-displaced, does not have articular involvement, and has not shortened your lateral column, you can likely be treated conservatively in a cambute or a cast for six to eight weeks. Now, you may need surgery to fix your cuboid if it is a compound fracture, your lateral column is shortened, or there is articular involvement. And in particular, the literature suggests that you probably will need reconstructive surgery if the articular displacement is more than one millimeter, and if your lateral column shortens more than three millimeters. Okay guys, that's a quick little video about cuboid fractures. If you want a lot more details about it, leave it in the comment section down below, and I'd be happy to answer your guys' questions. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and as always, you guys, don't forget to stretch and subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.